Hello there and welcome to my reaction to the Metal Gear Rising Hypercut featuring Maxor Political Unrest Simulator by Jimothy Ro Ross, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, Jimothy Ross. I, I tried to remember and I did. Uh, apparently, I tried to watch this video some time ago. It was like, it starts on two seconds. I don't know why, I think I was looking for Maxor's video on Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. But it didn't exist. But I still clicked on this one. I don't know. I don't. I don't have any recollection of this. My memory is bad as it is. If I'm gonna remember stuff like this, my brain's gonna melt. But I can't wait for the Maxor video. Well, the Maxor video didn't exist until a week ago. Just make that clear. And um, I can't wait for his part two. So I'm recording this one. I actually don't know when, when I'm going to upload this. I could upload this after part 2 comes out. But it's going to be probably a while. Nah, this comes out whenever it comes out. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, if you want to help out the channel, check the description below. And if you don't want to do that, you can just like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want. Everything helps. And we begin. This video's got, like, violence in it. Metal Gear Rise Redundance is a high-octane hack-and-slash spin-off the classic Metal Gear Salad series developed by Pokemon Platinum Games and oversaw by the legend Hideo's Kojungle Juice that trades contractable spaghetti and stealth operations for lightning-fast breadstick yeah. taking place four years after the events in Guns of the Patriots. Oh, I should have said that I got reminded. I didn't check the name of the person, but I got reminded in the comments for the Maxor's video about this video. Um... And they said that the edit editing and like the humor is very similar to Mark Soren. I can see it immediately. Anyway. Son, I'd like you to meet my arch nemesis, Mr. Epstein. Among us. He has dementia. You play as an emotionally unstable lumberjack who realized he's way too good at his job and instead wanted to use his sword to commit justice on the undeserving, not acknowledging that the police had already beat him to it. And he must go on an epic journey to assassinate Senator Dennis Prager and his entourage of Lincoln Park Power Rangers. Along your way, you'll encounter, including but not limited to, President, President of the United States, former President of the United States, yes, actual high school <laughs> student, the real Alex. Alex Jones, Hispanic, no, I'm the one who's panicking, and a few <laughs> others. Right in, but that's his actual name, will have to undergo many external and internal hardships as he learns the true meaning of existentialism and dices up his enemies like a spastic nutri chopper. Seriously, this game has more edges and angles than Minecraft, and a sense of humor so profound, yeah. I'm surprised Fortnite dancing isn't an integral part of the gameplay, so believe me when I say you'll probably enjoy this it's one. Funny. With all that said and done, please enjoy the excruciating beauty of Metal Gear Rising and its soundtrack of chill beats to Relax and study too if you're an engineering student. I am actually. I mean, I was. Maybe that's why I love it so much. Wait, I want to see. Thank you by him. An additional help from Maxor, Blake's Bane, better name pending, uh, Spectacu, Mord Hammer, and. Scorch Daring. Right? Scorch Daring? I don't know. Okay. I would thank you all as well for helping a person out. So the game starts off and it's really loud. Our story begins yeah. with Raiden escorting Key and Peel in an armored limousine unit. We have yeah, a saying up in Liberia. This. Give a man Ganyu, please him for a day. Teach a man to Ganyu and please him for a life sentence. Ah, a soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Ganyu. Mr. Percy Jackson and the Olympians of the Lightning Bolt. Oh, please, just call me the... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Let's not let petty things like war divide us. Instead, how about I just let it divide you? Hey y'all, what's your favorite garden hose setting? Mine's Jetstream. <laughs> Fall back, he's far too epic. Raiden does to yes, the he is. what I wish Dennis Thatcher's wife would do to me. And apparently already wants the game to end. Let's get this over with. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy, Cursor in the middle of the screen gaming. And in this episode, we're gonna have it slightly off-center, just to let you know I acknowledged it and gave an attempt, but don't actually care enough to fully alleviate the problem. You Monster. bastard. Sedan to convertible transformation service. Slice I changed my mind, I'm not recording. <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah. Being off hood since 2018. We, we really need a sequel. You're not gonna stop anymore! Check yourself. Where are you? 
Raymond. You better be sick, dead, or dead. Death battle. Put that Prime Minister down. Well, well, if it isn't Siri from The Witcher 3. That's not my name. Well, maybe if you got rid of that yee ass haircut, you might get some Gwent cards on your deck. Initiating CD2 protocol. The final boss of every other Gwent cards shows up as the first fight in this one to teach Raiden the rules of nature. Rule number one, if you see a tree frog, eat it. Rule number two, if you see a metal gear, suplex it. Not only does this fight look badass and kind of flip the power scaling on its head, but it's also the catalyst that made me realize this was a bad idea. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Oh look, rank D. Yeah, yeah, don't remind me. Four collapsed buildings later, and Raiden catches up to you. Hey, yo, I'm back, fucker. I heard you like Prosciutto. Two Bayonetta sequels later, and Raiden comes face to face with the barcode bandits. They tried scanning me at a Walgreens, and I fucking hate Walgreens. Why were you there in the first This next boss fight is really fun, as in Raiden gets the shit kicked out of him so hard it had to take place in a tunnel so he could hide his shame from God. Yeah? Face the Raiden. You're a femboy. <laughs> I'm not a femboy. I'm a Tom Jerry. No, I won't say Tom Jerry. Raiden, I know you probably have everything under control, so we are switching to a new data plan. It's more affordable, but you won't be able to call for backup if the signal's blocked. Surely this is no big deal. Just let us know when you are done pawning this noob. What's the matter? Never seen the Empire Strikes Back. Kept you with- Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, later, bro. I'm joining the circus. So hundreds of years pass, the entire world becomes engulfed in ocean. <laughs> Doctor, <laughs> got the photos printed? Bogos Binted? What? Well, you took quite the beating back there. He made you look like the black and white before product shot of infomercial. Raiden, your enemies are sponsored by Brondo. They have all the electrolytes your chlorophyllian heart needs. And of course, try preserving their left hands. I need to add them to my collection. Okay. Raiden then continues his mission to avenge Namadi, prevent the Desperado group from seizing the war economy, and play Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Hey guys, political unrest here, and I just cut down my only method of progression. <laughs> they just let you do that. Raiden has a flash. That was the point that Maxor made as well. Hmm. Flashback from when he was a farmer. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Hmm, yeah, okay, what effect should I use? Uh, find edges? Yeah, I don't think that one will be necessary. Okay, now yeah. we can- Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Raiden, I have nothing important to say. Just wanted to let you know that shit's bitchin'. Hella. <laughs> Having taken Metal Shop, this looks horrifying. It would appear that this one has separation anxiety. Who needs their machines? Right, right, B! Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Oh my god. Whoa, that one's got like a centipede inside of him. Huh. I'm it's trying to Electrolytes, you were talking about this a second ago. Hey, bro, you ever been to Sarkhan? What that dog doing? I am the smartest cyborg to ever grace mankind. I have surpassed the need for IQ testing and have over 1500 answers on Quora. Oh yeah? Well, tell me this. What will you have after 500 years? I will have you dead whether I kill you now or not. Pretty simple motives for such a gamer. Anything else to prove your intellect? 1114 West 7th Street. That could be anyone's address. Zip code 7450. Yeah. The fight with the amply titled Blade Wolf is a pretty standard run circles around him until he decides to call for backup. Oh hell no. Uh, hey yo, where are we oh, dropping? Drop drop it? It? Which then allows you to regain all of your health because of game yeah. design. Oh uh, yeah, 100 or That's exactly challenge. why they're here. Okay bro, could you let me- uh, Yeah, okay, no. Ow. Oh no, yeah, yes, I love having to freaking Blade Wolf gets euthanized for the time being. And the game fast forwards until specifically I think of something or funny. Or be like me and don't play the entire board. game and like make it 15 base. times harder. Oh yo, turning this helicopter into a chopper. And everyone around here got that jank ass hitbox. Right, and watch out, that's a door. I finally made it. Delaware. I'm telling you, Gorbachev was in the Pizza Hut commercial. I don't believe you. Fine, he was. that way. Whoa, a woman! After regaining his composure, Rydenicus Silvermane, master of calisthenics, gets reminded of the his woman has to go to make the boys bend better. Toward getting his medical doctorate. I believe the liver is located here. And tells Boris this is no time for jokes. 
Watch <laughs> out. Your enemies are armed and dangerous. This is no time for jokes. Oh god, he was being serious. Well, well, if it isn't Onisia. <laughs> well, if you're wanting to save the children, first you're going to have to beat me. Five different Overwatch characters. Wait, children? In this boss fight, you fight the politically correct protagonist of a hit new first party Nintendo title, all whilst trying to fend off her army of marketable amiibo figurines. It was also around this point where the long term ramifications of this goddamn decision started to show. Now, I could show you me struggling to remember how healing works in its entirety, but I think it'll be more effective to go the entertaining route. So, basically what happens is Raiden tests out his epic new pair of Yeezys with a kick towards Mistral, understandably shaken by this. She retaliates with a swift blow to the chest, causing Raiden to flop over and convulse because I'm playing on hard mode. Raiden recovers and ungrounds a fucking tree because of course he would, and teaches Mistral the third rule of nature. In an attempt to escape, Raiden once again stumbles and couldn't find the button on his life alert necklace because I'm playing blindfolded. Mistral finishes off Raiden with an exclamation of, your shoes raggedy, sending him into a spiral of self-doubt and buyer's remorse. How is that fight? Died 17 times. Thank you, Platinum Games. Wow. What's your own fault to play it on hard for the first time? My Mistral. Wait, what? How? In an effort to avoid copyright infringement, Raiden takes out the hip iconic female protagonist and watches as her Twitch chat goes ballistic. I can't believe you've done this. She even smoked weed. I can no longer live in this world. Damn, the simp blew himself up. Oh great, and it's a boy. From well, he didn't want to blow himself. Our secondary so weapon he, to the, uh, he did up. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. I don't speak italics. After restraining myself from making jokes Polar. about the French Just say for three minutes, fine. we see our titular Ashen Protag travel to Egypt to defeat Dio and his state. Raiden, why are you wearing a sombrero? Don't tell me you already forgot my Kinsenhera. It's funny because we are in Mexico or something. Wow, Raiden, you are so funny and smart. <sighs> Fucking Windows 11. Raiden commits an allegory for where Konami has gone and descends into the conspiracy sewers in search of the Tomb of Billionaires. Hey guys, this oh. area is freaking disgusting. Let's go save some children, apparently. We get warned about some black crocodiles, as if I have time to worry about pipeline zoology. Oh, hey look, our first fight. <laughs> You know the wrestler. The Survivors Association is dying out and I'm at my limit. I mean, I just, I can't, I just can't. Oh, there's the freaking black crocodiles. Raiden finds a cardboard the box. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that game is. Somehow. It could be because of nostalgia. Colonel, did you see it? A white translucent orb moves to the bottom left of the screen. So what do you think? Snake, oh, you gross. incapacitated four civilians. Okay, so we can just, like, oh shit. Stealth's my specialty. Wait, sounds like someone's getting pinged. Go, go, gadget, knife. Oh, a ninja, Kawabunga. Let's fucking fuck evacuate. Konichiwa, yeah, sure. compadre. Oh, wait, you speak English. You named George, like Georgetown. Isn't that the place where they drank all the Kool Aid and died? N no, that's Jonestown. Jonestown? As in the massacre? Pretty morbid of you to bring up. Wait. Are you are you gaslighting me? The quest to save the children in time. I have no idea. Break actually. into the black crocodile maintenance lab. But first, you need to take a dump. Wait, what? Uh -huh. Raiden breaks into Amazon's daycare service to give the employees their weekly evaluation. It comes across something truly horrific. Brains and dice. Raiden, did you see those brains looking at you? Those were the fans of the hit Minecraft YouTuber Dream. Oh. Now it must have been uh. pretty scary. Better purge that trauma with the most potential game them. mode, says the developers. Oh hell yeah. So he will do himself. Hey bro, you're looking kinda kinda s s Stupid through mandated spyware, we view a discussion between antags. No, I'm with the science team. They talk about plot, and from what I can gather, the Desperado Sentai were looking to jumpstart the war economy. They say that a lot. So, like YouTubers, they figured the best option was to head to the playground and steal children to subject to government funded binaural beats. I swear I'm making this shit up. I know that's that why I'm not getting subs fast enough. But I'm gonna make a call out post I'm about this. Keep having children. Yes. Oh, wait. Can we encounter a Metal Gear grad unit? No. For a no, I haven't seen end of the movie. Than Toho sequels, it should be easy, right? <laughs> no, this is the main line. 
It has these modular plates of armor that took the bloodshed skill tree and forcibly evolved into offensive ninja swatters. Yo, this music has slaps. Which really yeah, I don't think he knows how to parry. Does he? Having you dead. Okay, I've just been alerted there are two difficulties harder than this one, so I'm gonna quit pretending that I'm struggling because I'm gonna lose a lot of weekends in the future. Okay, Optimus crying. <laughs> Who could be behind all this child trafficking? Man, let me tell you something, dog. This ain't got a motherfucking thing to do with allegations. Do it, Raiden. Kill him. How am I supposed to know which one's the real you? What the fuck are you talking about right now? Are you being for real? Do you honestly think that I would sit back and throw away my life? There are so many ways to not to not the frosting moves to the wound the key to fulfill his dreams of becoming a world world more fun if he does. Thanks for saving me again, stranger. I didn't need the rescuing that bad since that time I worked for Elon. Anytime, kid. Anytime. Hmm. Sokhan. Never heard of it. Might actually be something I'd want to get tickets for. Yeah. Wait, uh -oh. what are these six stars at the top of the what are you doing? Come on, there are no helicopters Steve or anything. It's not just stars. I can't no rest tanks. until the kids are safe. Dateline NBC can only do so much. It's not so simple, Raiden. He produces yeah, his content legally and only hangs around preschools on weekends. Hold that thought. Raiden, I... The FDA finally catches up with our cereal slices after years of butchery in an unsanitary cooking environment. Raiden does to a car door what a horse did to me when I was seven and fends off a police onslaught in a quirky new sitcom. Hey guys, what? what, what, what Wait, what, what was the bottom part? Sitcom. Hey guys, what? what, 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 what freaking, I, I give up. I enjoyed this section of the game as it really makes you feel like living in an urban environment. I mean, they really got everything spot on from the outlet stores, subterranean railways. Is anyone out there? Okay, wait, where am I? The giant mechs. The, the crime rate. But I did have a feeling something was missing. Oh wait, there he is. Hello, Raiden. This is your good friend. Does he actually don't know how to parry? <laughs> is he exactly the same as me? By no means a coincidence. But on hard. Out, I'm on a building and a billboard, and I'm trying to make an announcement. Raiden is a my sword is a tool of justice. Will you shut up, man? Seriously, what is your deal? I, I took the Myers Briggs personality test and kept getting the depressed ones. And that gives you uh, permission to gerrymander your opponents. Same. Too, you know. Just, just shh and listen for a second. Yo, is that the guy who said Pogchamp wasn't funny? You bitch. <laughs> I'm not actually a cop. I just wanted to fit in. What is this? Oh God, that must mean I'm unfunny. I can't take this shit, man. I bought my badge on Wish.com. I shouldn't even be here. Knock it off. Can't you see, Jack? How will you repent for your irredeemable actions? Yeah. Having world records sped ran the five stages of grief, punished Venom Rick Beato emotionally strains himself across the street, dodging precarious hazards like cars and other unmoving objects. We made it. The entire state building. It's Empire State Building and we're in Denver. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. God damn it. My name is Monsoon of the Shitposters Initiative. Go, go, gadget, salami lid. Oh, yeah, Maxaro's voiceover. What is actually wrong with you people? Why can't you be like normal supervillains? We're an organization of enlightened individuals who found the military complex quite simple, really. So, so tell you're a Facebook me, group. who saves the cringe from the man who saves the cringe? You're the ones trolling them, encouraging their behavior. Of course they get bullied. Cause you make it funny as hell, bro. <laughs> Troll or be trolled, Jack. Jake Paul taught me that. Free will okay. is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all pawns controlled by something greater. Look to the right, Memes. please. Look to the right. The DNA of the soul. They shape right. our posts, our yes. culture. Yes. Expose someone to sped up gifts long enough, they will learn to get real. How about full of shit? Is that a meme? Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. So what you gonna do? Cope about it or become like me, an epic Quora gamer? Observe how I twirl my pens in class. You're right. Wait, what? I thought I could just walk off the internet and into a normal life. But if killing soldiers is cringe, then I guess that makes me the long cow. B based? <laughs> Doctor, turn off my thud inhibitors. Hey, yo, cringe check. <laughs> it was a joke. I didn't think you'd actually do it. Jesus Christ, I literally have a titanium. Did Maxor have exactly the same line?
Maxor is stealing from the video that he's in. Fedora, and I'm starting to think that Wait, it's also part one? Name you love so much. Jack the Ripper, was it? You know what he did to prostitutes, right? Well, how about I treat you like one? He, he killed them. I, I'm, I'm gonna kill oh. you. It'll be okay. no match for my PNG Jitsu. Mansu, I see that. Good job there. Is there a second part? It's been no, since August. I actually thought this would be a full video until the... I mean, the full game. But surprisingly, it isn't. Because like, it doesn't say part 1 like in Max Source videos that to make it easy. I don't know. And I will do the thing. I will do the thing. I'll even do this thing. I don't know why I was contemplating. <laughs> will I do the thing? Anyway. Yeah, this video is great. It's very, very... I don't know if he's inspired by Max or did he just start editing in the same, in the similar manner accidentally. It's like... I'm not like gonna say that he's stealing. It's just an editing thing. Just wanted to put a lot of editing in and memes and stuff. It's not like a... I think editing in this matter is very difficult, but come up with the idea to edit the shit out of the videos is not that difficult. I think. I don't know. Like, randomly, I mean, without any influ influence from... But he could be influenced. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. It was a good video. Okay, bye. Alright, I'm curious if there is a second part. Actually, okay. Because I... Sure. You know what? Sure. Let's go on his channel. Videos. No, that was the last video he released. Okay. Well then. Funny. You bitch. I'm not actually a cop. I just wanted to. F then I guess. I'll wait for the second one. Whenever that happens. Second one of Maxor, second one of him. Maybe they're working together because they pretty much stopped in the same place. Except Maxor beat Mansoon before ending the video. And Jimothy didn't. But now I'm glad I clicked the bell so I can know when it's going to come out. Anyway, thank you anybody who watched this. I appreciate it a lot and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Have a great life. Because one of us has to.